everyone, Laura here from Angel with the Light Yogis and welcome to 31 Days of Yoga, day, oh, day eight now. And so the pose that we're going to be connecting with today is child's pose or balasana, as it's more commonly, well, more commonly known in Sanskrit, <laughs> maybe less commonly known. Um, and so child's pose, again, is quite another popular pose that most people are aware of and it is a floor-based um, pose as well. So what we're going to do is get onto our mats and connect with the pose. So there are a couple of ways in doing this as with all of the poses. So we start off with our toes touching and our shins connected with our mat and you can either have your legs touching together as well as you sit back into the pose oh. or quite a few people um, find that um, actually giving their hips and pelvis a little bit more space by bringing their knees out to um, the left and right angles. So those sort of 45 degree angles out. So whichever you feel more comfortable with. Um, again, if you do feel that um, resting your feet on the mat in that way is uncomfortable, then you can just put a small towel or something underneath your feet just to give you more support. And so then we're just going to gently make our way to our mat, stretching our arms out in front of us. And as we place our hands to the floor, similar to kind of downward dog, we're actually pushing our hands out in that kind of star position, our thumbs and our fingers, and we're pushing our arms away from the mat. So we are almost trying to force our bottom, our glutes to connect with our heels. So you, this may or may not be possible, but we are actually, as I said, pushing our arms away from the mat. This being said, we still want to relax our shoulders, so keep them away from our ears. We're not tensing or holding there. We are still engaging our perineum and also our um, navel, pulling those in. And again, we can bring our head down to our mats. And so this is child's pose. If you prefer, you can also, um, which is actually easier if your knees are together, you can also go into that pose and then bring your hands behind you instead. Just rest in your, um, your forehead on the mat. You can do it in the other way. Put your arms are more out to the side. So as I said, there are various ways in which you can um, perform um, child's pose. Um, if you do feel that that is a little bit too much getting to the ground, you can get a bolster or a pillow. And again, you can pop it onto the mat and instead you can lie onto it. So you can either have it a bit closer to your torso just providing you with that and um, that additional support if it does feel uncomfortable um, going into that pose so i hope that you found this helpful um, it is a really really nice um, restorative pose really um, helps you to maybe just connect and ground back down again it is um, a really nice one and um, just to again just stretch and elongate the spine and um, to kind of counteract a lot of different poses throughout um, yoga practice. So you tend to find that um, child's pose is in a few times throughout a session just to reset, come back, reground um, before moving on, um, but not always. Um, so see how you find it and if you've got any comments or any questions give me a shout don't forget we do have the um, angel with yogi subscription so if you want to check that out go to www.angel-wood.co.uk and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day nine of 31 days of yoga bye